So in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to connect an IP camera. So if you have an NVR that has a different password than our default passwords at the time, they range from admin admin to admin and then 10ILTXYH. So if you're trying to connect a camera, let's say, not purchased from us, that is guaranteed by your supplier to be compatible with our NVRs, or you're using our camera, that we're saying it uses the private protocol on our NVRs. Uh, when you connect it to the PoE ports built into the back of the NVR, it's not going to pull up. So here's what I'm going to show you. I've got a camera right here, and I'm going to connect it to the PoE ports on the back over here. I've got a cable coming out, my black cable goes into the PoE ports. When I connect it, because this thing has a different password than my NVR, it's not going to pull up. So as I connect the cable, I'm going to wait for a minute or two. I'm also watching the top left quadrant. It's going to show me whether it's pulled up a camera or not. Now this screen, let me show you how I got to it. Once you're logged into your NVR, go to main menu and go to camera, go to registration, and you'll see it in here. Now I hit device search. It's finding another NVR I have on the network, but it's not showing me this camera yet, so let's just keep waiting. It finally took about a minute to a minute and a half and shows me invalid username here and shows the camera pulls up on the bottom and on the top. I didn't do anything, it just listed on the top and added it to the bottom automatically. And it has a red dot next to it. That means it's not connected. So here's what you need to do. Let's say if you don't have a listing on the bottom and it sort of looks like this, you can hit this and add, or it'll keep on automatically adding it too. It'll just fight with you a little bit. Because these NVRs are built with a plug and play feature that automatically add cameras. As you can see, as I deleted it twice, it keeps re-adding it. The problem is it's gonna lock your camera out because it's using the wrong password. Using the password that's on, if you've purchased a camera from us, using the password that's located on the top of the camera box. Or you can email us and ask us what the password was when we configured it for you. If we did, you would put that password in here. Some cameras may ship uninitialized to you. That's how they come from the factory. At times we will configure them for certain customers who are not very uh, technologically literate. We'll, we will initialize the cameras as courtesy so you don't have to do it because it takes certain know-how how to do it. Regardless of whether we have initialized the camera or not, or if you're doing it yourself, you would put the password in here. In my case, my password is not my default this time. My username is admin and the password is different. Now I hit connect, I hit apply, and I hit OK. Now, if you've tried this too many times, you'll get this message saying the account has been locked. What that means is you try to connect the camera too many times and you lock the user out. So what you need to do is disconnect the camera from the NVR or simply disconnect the cable going to the camera from the back of your recorder and then wait a couple of seconds and then reconnect it. So what that process does is the camera unlocks the user. Go to camera registration directly as well. So now I am just simply waiting for that. And here you go, the camera pulls up. So what the NVR does is it memorizes for this port the password I entered and syncs it with the MAC address or device name in this case, or serial number, and it remembers it so when you re-add the camera, it won't lock you out. You could have also manually added it, the camera, but that won't provide you 
time sync and other features. So if it's a camera you bought from us, and it's an NVR you bought from us, and you're trying to connect the two, this is the method we recommend doing because it allows the camera and the NVR to talk to each other better than doing the manual ad method. And here you can also go into main menu and see that by doing such a method, you are able to modify, let's say, camera name, and it will populate it. As you can see, it changed it here. Change it from IPC to IPC 11. There are other things it lets you do. You can go into camera, image, and you can change image options, like for example, enabling WDR, doing an image flip. I think I flipped it 180 degrees. Let's go back to camera name, put it back to where it was, hit apply, hit OK, change it back. Gotta make sure you apply your changes. I'll put it back to where it was to conclude this video. I'll leave it as WDR. And that's it. It's just that easy. Thanks for watching.